Good evening, everyone. My name is Ryan Tan, and I'm really humbled to stand on stage with these three outstanding individuals here today. As Coach Wooden would have said, it's truly a team effort, and I'd like to take the time to thank three groups of individuals who have been key to my own journey. First, the UCLA Anderson School professors and staff, thank you for facilitating and creating such a conducive learning environment. To a very, very special and inspirational friend in the audience today, Anjali Goweko, thank you for coming here. And to my lovely wife, YY, thank you for the care and concern throughout all these years. This fellowship really resonates with me. Um, my experience uh, in the military, the public, and now the private sectors has always taught me the importance of impactful servant leadership. Coach Wooden espoused certain values that contribute to that. Discipline, teamwork, integrity, passion. And all those resonate with my own journey, uh, where, I where I found that the best outcomes, competitive greatness, as Coach Wooden have called it, is achieved through putting the collective over the individual, the team over the self. This fellowship is really, I mean, it's a recognition, but more importantly, it is a reminder to me to always give my best effort, to always give my best to achieve the best outcomes for the team and to always dig deep and in the tough times, remember the ideals that Coach Wooden held dear to himself and espoused through his life and his career. So today I stand before you, a very proud Singaporean and a very proud member of the UCLA Anderson community. I'm extremely, extremely humbled to be in front of you here today. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Good evening. Wow, how humbling it is to be standing here in front of all of you and alongside Leah, Jerry, and Ryan. I want to thank UCLA Anderson and the Wooden family for this incredible opportunity and for everyone here this evening for making this event possible. My favorite Coach Wooden quote is, seek opportunities to show you care. The smallest gestures often make the biggest difference. Looking back to how I got to this point, there are numerous people who have endlessly given me support and encouragement to seek out the opportunities to try and make a difference. Without them, the experiences I've had wouldn't have been possible. Going forward from Anderson, I have a renewed commitment to keep on living Coach Wooden's teachings, to continue doing the small things that make the biggest difference. And to my team that's here tonight, faculty members, classmates, coworkers, childhood friends, and my family, Thank you for always showing me that you cared. Your gestures have made the biggest difference in my life. Thank you. Coach Wooden is a leader in every sense of the word. He's a legend. As a fellow kid from Indiana, as a fellow Purdue Boilermaker, as a fellow military veteran, now simply just as a fellow, I can't help but feel a special connection. You guys got it. I can't help but feel a special connection with him. Those who know me well won't be surprised to learn that the greatest leadership lesson that I've taken from Coach is that of leading with love. Coach said that love is the single most important concept in leadership, but also one of the most forgotten. So that love is the driver of our greatest accomplishments, and that if we're truly doing what we love to do, and with who we love to do it with, then we've reached true success. As a young and new Marine Corps officer, I remember reading that in his book, and I used it to craft my own leadership style. And I can tell you with absolute confidence that as the single most important contributing factor in my ability to build strong teams that I had the honor of serving with. In business school, we do a great job of becoming experts at things like accounting and finance and marketing. But if we truly want to reach our full potential as great leaders, we need to also think beyond that and study the lives of the all-time greats like Coach Wooden. So with that, and with whatever team or teams you're on in your lives, I urge you to love your teams and to make sure and do everything within your power to ensure that they love being on your team as well. To my friends and my family and my classmates, for all that you have done and continue to do to support me, I thank you for it and I love you. Thank you. Coach Wooden said, I know I'm not what I ought to be, what I should be, but I'm better off than I would have been if I didn't come across certain things. 
For me, it's certain people. I lack the words to be able to express my deep gratitude to those that found something worth investing in in me, the people that saw me as part of their team. Coach said, we all have a role on the team, so find your passion and apply your talents. My passion is working towards a healthier, more equitable society in this time of increased access to information, changing demands on healthcare, and technological disruption. And that starts with a dedication to family, friends, the community, and integrity. So I challenge us all to remember, it does matter how you play the game. <laughs>